Hello and welcome, I'm Machine Dana, and this is a video about how you can add a chat box to your stream. Uh, chat boxes, they're pretty cool. You see them quite often on people's streams. Uh, people use them in a very kind of playful or not way. And all this is is a replica of what's happening in the chat sidebar, but actually overlaid onto your screen. Now, some people with the chat boxes tend to use them with a transparent background, which enables the, the text just to be less invasive on the, on the screen. And other people choose to have like a dedicated box, which might be branded, uh, look really creative, and then have the text within that. There's also loads of different settings you can play around with chat box, which can enhance or, or make the experience worse as well. So it's worth considering those different settings. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can set that up from Streamlabs Online. You can set this up through multiple different streaming software. So it doesn't have to be Streamlabs OBS, uh, although it does tend to integrate much better with Streamlabs OBS. I found that using the online services from Streamlabs and Streamlabs OBS has created the fewest issues in terms of integration from cloud-based widgets and cloud-based data and desktop application-based data. If you find this video useful, give it a thumbs up because it will help other people to find this video when they're searching for similar things to what you search for. Uh, feel free to subscribe. I release these videos on a weekly basis. If you want to check any of these things out as well, you can also check me out on twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. And plus, if you've got any questions, feel free to just hit me up and give me a shout. Without further ado, chat boxes, let's get into it. So first, just a very quick preview of how this actually works in practice. I've got one of my past broadcasts open. At the start of all of my broadcasts, I tend to have at least 10 or, or 15 minutes chatting with my uh, viewers when they tune in, just welcoming anyone and all the rest of it. You can see here uh, all of the chat that's appearing here. And this is just a replica of the, the chat here on there. Some of it is not safe for work, so <laughs> as per some of my streams can be. <laughs> All it does is replicate the chat here. This is an example of a transparent one that I've overlaid on a theme that I've got. Uh, oh, there's a, uh, <laughs> I received a raid at this point. <laughs> so to set this up, what you need to do is navigate to streamlabs.com. Make sure you're logged in with your uh, Twitch account if it's Twitch or your YouTube account if it's YouTube or your Facebook account if it's Facebook. Once you've done that, you've then essentially got a Streamlabs online account. Assuming you've done that, you need to navigate to all widgets. Now, the thing to bear in mind here, if you can't see that all widgets section, because sometimes Streamlabs do change the kind of orientation and the menus and stuff around, just do a search for it in a search bar or try having a poke around and see if you can find it. So this is a widget from Streamlabs Online, but it can also be used as a browser source as well. And I'll show you more detail about that later in the video. And all it is, it's this chat box here. Now, the thing to bear in mind, this is not to be confused with the... Uh, chat alerts. Chat alerts from Cloudbot, and I have done another video about setting these up. It is a module that notifies you in chat whenever activity happens, like a donation or, script or subscription. This is a direct to chat piece of notification that is added uh, once you've set chat alerts up. I'll link in the description below the chat alerts tutorial video if you do want to set that up. The chatbot wix widget does not add any new information. All it does is replicate the chat that's already there onto your screen and allows you to resize it and set the design and some other key settings for that. Now to set this up, we can click on chat box. There is a tutorial video available on this from Streamlabs online. Um, I found that the Streamlabs online tutorial videos tend to be too short. They don't go into enough detail. They sometimes miss off key information uh, and they also don't always tell you how to get the most from them. They're normally just really short, sharp, dull, boring videos, which is part of the reason why I've done a number of videos to enhance. So here's an example of, of how it works. Uh, this is obviously all text chat here. You can set this up as a browser source if you're not using Streamlabs OBS. So all you do to do that is copy the widget URL and you get the confirmation that it's copied to your clipboard there. And I'll show you how you can add that as a browser source to your Streamlabs OBS or non-Streamlabs OBS streaming software. However, if you are using Streamlabs OBS, there's a, a different, more easy way that you can add this to your stream. And I'll show that too within this video. So now all we're doing is very simply is going through all of the settings and then we click save settings at the very bottom once we're happy with what it looks like. So. We, we choose all these settings. First, there's, there's themes. So I'll just quickly scroll through. There's the clean version, which is a transparent background. There's a boxed version like this. And it's interesting that 
Because this this has got ba it's pulled in some of my uh, badges here. Funnily enough, most people tend to use the clean version because they don't particularly look at these settings to change them. Doing a different theme like this could potentially make your chat box stand out quite significantly. So it could be worth considering changing it up and not doing the clean version. But you may already have a design that you just want to overlay the chat itself onto, which is also fine as well. Old school. Pixels. This is quite cool. Chunky. Just the thickened words. They're the five options that you've got by default. And then you've got things like, do you want to show or not the moderator badges? Do you want to show the subscriber badges or not? Showing uh, turbo badges. Do you want to show Twitch Prime badges in the chat or show bits badges? And these are just your own per personal preferences. Um, to be honest, I don't really know why you would want to not show those things, particularly the um, subscriber and bits. Uh, maybe less so the mod badges uh, because you're only replicating what's already in chat and by default the mod badges will show in chat. You can enable better TTV emotes and uh, Franca Face Z emotes as well by clicking these two options. You then can choose the, the background colour, hex code for the widget. This is preview purposes only and will not show up in your streaming software. You can then set the text colour. Um, you may want to just go with like an off-white colour which just looks a little bit cooler. Uh, but again, you can set this to be any color that you want. And then change the font size using this scroller here. Now, the thing to bear in mind is you're able to resize the source anyway. So if the font size that you see isn't quite perfect, you can resize it. The thing about doing that, when you resize the browser source, it will take the pixels it's got and resize it accordingly. So if you set it too small and then resize it too much, then the font size will just scale and look somewhat pixelated. You want to avoid it looking pixelated. So if you think that you're roughly going to be working with a 40 pixel size on your stream, then try to set it to 40 rather than setting it to 18 as an example and then stretching it out. It's always better to try and be as accurate as you can with the sizes. Hide messages after. So you can say always show messages. And what this does is it just means that the messages will always show and they will never disappear. So as long as people are talking, those messages will show. Um, but you can also set it so that those messages disappear after a certain amount of time. Uh, so if I click this off and then I set the amount of time. So let's just show, hopefully we do it on five seconds. It shows the messages. It'll show the example of it here. And those messages will eventually disappear as you can see there. And it, that's just an option to keep it a little bit cleaner. Uh, me personally, I like it to always show the messages because I've got a dedicated space for that chat. So it doesn't really matter to me whether there's text there or not. There's also a chat delay that you can add as well. So if you want there to be a delay between the chat in your um, in your actual Twitch or YouTube chat and then the chat that appears on screen as the overlay in the chat box, you can then set that delay here. For example, just hover over this. So this sets a delay to the chat. I'm not really sure what the benefit of doing that is, to be honest, because if you've not got the same delay in your Twitch chat, then it seems pretty pointless because people can see the chat on the right-hand side anyway. However, there are moderation options within Twitch to delay the chat uh, by up to six seconds so that your moderators can take away chat that is offensive. So then you've got hide chatters, so hide common chat bots. So I think what this does is just hide any bots uh, that you've got. For instance, any bot responses. So you don't want the chat on screen to be spammed with, say, responses to gambling on stream or responses to commands and things like that. You can hide commands starting with an exclamation point as well. It just cleans up the chat that shows on screen. Hide specific users from the chat here. So although you can moderate this in your stream, for example, on Twitch or on YouTube, you can also moderate it separately on Streamlabs using uh, the chat box function here. You just add the user there, uh, one name per line. For example, uh, band underscore user, if that's their username. And then, I don't know, band underscore user two. Uh, and then there's also specific band words that you can add here. Final thing here is you can enable some custom CSS, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And all this does is allow you to add some custom animations or custom design layouts, uh, indenting and stuff like that. Uh, probably for the more advanced streams out there that have got highly customized streams, this just gives you the flexibility to do that. You can also reset code and click add to add the custom uh, the custom fields. Once I've got that those settings there, I can literally copy the widget URL to my clipboard and I get a confirmation of that. Next, we're going to add it to the streaming software itself now that we've configured it. You've got two options at this point. You can either add it as a browser source, or if you're using Streamlabs OBS, you can simply add it as a widget because the widgets are native 
uh, and very well integrated with Streamlabs OBS. So the online cloud widgets work very well with the software if they're both Streamlabs. Otherwise, you're just going to use the copied URL as a browser source in the software if it's XSplit or if it's Stream Elements or whatever. So to do this, we simply click the, we need to locate sources. We click the plus icon. Uh, you can add it as a browser source here, add source. And then all we're doing is saying, I want to set it as a new browser source. You can name the source, uh, new test chat box. Uh, click add source. It'll, by default, it'll put a placeholder image of where that new source is. That's just a placeholder, so don't worry about that for now. It's literally just this image here. You need to paste in the browser source URL that you've copied from the settings we looked at earlier. You can set the height and the width um, and, and various other settings here. Normally, the default settings are absolutely fine here. Uh, you can also set some custom CSS. Click done on that. That will now pull in the chat wall. And now if I, if I do some chat here, uh, for example, test uh, machine Dana, you are the worst streamer. <laughs> streamer ever <laughs> this will now come through you can see on the uh, you can probably just see it there and you can resize this and of course you can overlay that onto any other designs that you may have that you want to have the chat wall over the top of so the other way to do this uh, if I'll just delete this this one here the other way to do this is to add it as a source if you're in Streamlabs OBS there is an option already here for the chat box and it's this one here, chat box. Click OK and add the source. And it will pull in the settings that you've already got. You set it as new, add source. And these are all the settings that we've already looked at. It sets the, the fonts, uh, the timing of it for it to disappear, if you want it to always show which badges you want uh, and the theme and all that kind of stuff. You do have an opportunity here to, to change it within Streamlabs OBS instead of on the Streamlabs Online. Uh, so that's me illustrating that it does really integrate pretty damn well, including HTML and CSS customs. We click done on that and it will literally pull in the exact same thing. And we can put some test text here again. Uh, machine Dana, I absolutely love your tutorials. So that does work. So you can use this in a number of, of different ways. Um, and you know, there are loads of different themes that you can get and panels. And so there you have it, a really easy way for you to add a chat box, uh, chat wall to your overlays. If you found this video useful, please do thumbs up. Uh, if you wanna see more of these types of videos, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And by all means, check me out daily at six o'clock UK time uh, at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. Uh, have a wonderful day, take care.